With the reintroduction of the diamonds back into the casino heist in GTA Online, I decided to do some maths and work out whether diamonds really are a grinder's best friend or if duplicating gold is still king. And this is what I discovered. For consistency, we did the same heist. In this instance, it was silent and sneaky on hard mode to the high buyer and the hacker we used was Paige Harris. Here is the rundown for the diamonds. Each diamond case is worth just over $10,000 and you get 44 diamond cases per trolley. Add all that up and it's just over $450,000 per trolley. It takes around 37 seconds to clear a whole trolley and that works out to just over $12,000 per second. Here is the rundown on how the gold works. First of all, each bar is just over $16,000. Each trolley contains 22 gold bars, totaling just over 355,000. The total time it takes to collect all of the gold from the trolley is 23 seconds. Average that out and you're looking at around $15,500 per second. However, if you perform the gold duplication glitch, you get a whole new load of statistics. So, each gold bar is still the same, but you're now getting 45 gold bars per trolley. That totals just over 727,000 on each trolley. That takes 51 seconds to clear and that works out to just over $14,000 per second. Per second, that is slightly under what it would be without the glitch. But you need to take into consideration that you are moving around a lot more to collect more gold. You're looking at about 45 to 70 seconds before you can access the next trolley of gold due to the hacking. This side by side comparison shows you how much a big difference doing the glitch makes. With two players earning just over 700,000 extra and three players earning just over a million. Bear in mind that the maximum the game will allow you to take is just under 3.7 million. Anything above that is just a waste. When we do a side by side comparison with the gold glitch against the diamonds, there's really not a massive amount in it. Gold just about takes it, but not by much. Now I'm going to show you the side by side comparison in action. Let's go. Did somebody say diamonds? <laughs> you should have, right there on the carts. Good news, seeing as we stayed under the radar, we have a little more time here. Security sensors while you're in the vault, but only for a while. If the system goes quiet for too long, it triggers the alarm as a fail safe. And, uh, did I mention that if the alarm goes off in here, they'll flood the place with nerve agent? No? Okay, well, I'm mentioning it now.
30 seconds. seconds before the failsafe alarm, so make the most of it. We're still under the radar. Perfect. Perfect. People, that is the mother load! <laughs> we cleaned them out! Well, I hope that cleared a few things up for you guys. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.